Well, welcome. We are live here at West Washington High School here on the Ron Smith Court, Kermit T. Tower Gymnasium for tonight's varsity basketball contest between the West Washington Senators and the Rock Creek Academy Lions, I believe it is. It is. They're yeah. the Lions. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yep. So, anyway, uh, another Tuesday night contest, our, our last Tuesday night of the regular season. Of course, we'll be back here next Tuesday night as the sectional play opens up, West Washington hosting that uh, sectional and uh, looking forward to that. But we got two more regular season basketball games. Senators coming in tonight, 10 and 10 on the season, facing Rock Creek at six and 13, but that's a very deceiving record. Uh, Rock Creek plays a pretty tough schedule. Um, the Senators gonna have to play well here tonight as the uh, Lions come into the game, like I said, just six wins on the season, but. They, they play very few 1A very schools. Very few 1A <laughs> schools. They play a lot of 3A uh, schools, a lot of bigger 4A schools even. Uh, and Rock Creek is one of those teams that, uh, you know, they've got a lot of transients is, is what I call them. Yeah. They come in from a little bit of everywhere and, uh, you know, they've, they've got some kids on their, on their team. Uh, they're pretty senior laden, laden with uh, like six seniors on their roster. One of them, a seven-foot uh, senior, <laughs> Mario Diaper, or Dipper, I guess it is uh, called. I, I mispronounced it at seven foot. And then they also have uh, a six-seven kid in Jalen Treat, um, who's a big body, going to be a tough out inside for the Senators here tonight. Going to have to do the little things well here, especially rebounding. And I think uh, uh, the professor, Mr. Akers, alluded to it before we went on the air. The Rock Creek's a team that's going to want to get out and run. And, uh, you know, we've got to not try to run with them because if we do, we could very well get blowed out of here. That's right. for sure. They make their living in transition. They're going to get a rebound and, and go as fast as possible. They're not going to want to sit in the half court at all. They're going to want to get up and down the floor. Um, you know, the seven foot that we talked about, you know, he can run the floor just like a, a guard. He's going to get up and down and move. Um, he's not going to go to to the post. He's not going to post somebody up down there. He, he is going to get rebounds and put back dunks. Um, he had four in their last game. Right. So he's he is going to do that for them. Um, but they're going to they're going to go as their guards go. Yeah, um, absolutely. And they've got some good guard. play. Yeah. You know, you look at their roster. For, first time might be we we the the senators are bigger than the guards that they're going to yes. be guarding. Yes, but you look at their roster, like I was going to say, and a couple of familiar names on there. You see the name Terrence Nord. Uh, his yeah. uh, mom is actually the uh, the girls' coach, yes. Sarah Nord, yep. the former U of L uh, standout uh, at, at Louisville, played basketball there, actually won a national championship, and was Miss Basketball in Indiana, if yes, I'm not she mistaken. Was. She certainly was. So, you know, that's a familiar name on their roster. Um, you know, just a team that can really get after it. Uh, you know, like we said, record is deceiving, mainly because they play a, a real tough schedule. And, you know, they're a team that, um, you know, is in our sectional. So, you know, it could be a, another uh, – it won't be a um, sectional opponent for us unless we can unless get to the, the final game. Yep. That's yep. the only way. So, uh, both those teams. But talking a little bit more about that sectional, coming up. Uh, of course, the Senators open up on Tuesday night, next Tuesday, as they take on uh, Borden, a rematch from that regular season overtime game that the Senators lost by two uh, in that contest to the Braves. Definitely Borden probably the favorite on, uh, on, paper, I on paper coming in with their record at 15 and 7. But you've got three or four other teams in there that are really good. Actually, I guess they wouldn't be the favorite by record because Christian Academy is 16 and five. But I think Borden beat Christian Academy. They did didn't beat they? Christian so. Academy, and then you got South Central, another team that's played real well. And if the Senators are lucky enough to get past Borden, they're going to play South Central on Friday night. Who got the bye? Lanesville, the 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 one team in the section that doesn't have a win. Uh, got the other buy on the other side, but are really playing for something because this is this is their coach's last, last season, season, last games. You know, so after, after once they go into sectional play, it's win or done, win or done. Yeah, I mean, and everybody's even at that point. Yeah, you know, the records don't really mean anything. It just comes down to how hard you want to play. And you know, one thing about the Senators, I think a lot of people aren't giving them much hope in this sectional. But you've got home court advantage. 
So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a tough sectional, but uh, a sectional that is winnable, I oh, think, yeah. by any team that's in it. And that's what makes it so tough. I think there's a lot of parity there. And, uh, and probably the closest game that the Senators have had is with Borden, Borden. who on yep. paper would be the favorite. Yep, so it's, absolutely. <laughs> it's a, a very interesting matchup there for the sectional. Um, like you said, Bubba, we're going to bring you all those games. Absolutely. Um, you know, from, from the very first game to the very last whistle, you know, we, we've got all the coverage um, coming to you. So, And if you're, if you're tuning in with us, we're still looking for sponsors oh, yeah. for that sectional round. And like we said, we'll have two games on Tuesday night, two games on Friday night, and the final on Saturday, all right here on the West Washington live stream. Uh, so, you know, if, you, if you're interested in getting your business name out there, we would sure like to help. It's not real expensive. It's something you can do and get your name out there. Plus, it's visual, too, oh, folks. Yeah. It's not just radio. You're going to see it, hear it. And believe it. But, and but the good thing is you get radio, too, because it's also absolutely. going out on WWSR. So you get, all, you get all of it. All the great stuff. So, you know, it's a lot cheaper than advertising on WHAS. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> nothing against WHAS, but, you know, it's a lot cheaper than that. But, uh, yeah, get a hold of one of us. We'd be glad to set you up with a package for that sectional next week. The Senators come back out to the court along with Rock Creek Hairs. We're just a few minutes away from our uh, national anthem and our starting lineup. Senior night here also that we didn't mention, so all the seniors from winter sports were recognized uh, there before uh, this game got underway. And, and probably the most special thing about tonight is Lane. Lane. <laughs> this, yep. is, this is Lane's night. He's a senior. Um, you know, needs two points. Needs two points. So his first bucket uh, yep. tonight that is not a free throw is going 1, to 000. get him to 1,000. Um, yeah, I thought he was going to get it the other night at Henryville. Yeah. I really did, and he just, you know, he was real close, had some shots that didn't fall there late in the game. But, you know, I think it's kind of special for him to get it here on his home court. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, we're definitely looking forward to that. So a lot going on here. Our two seniors, Lane Hofler and Mason Cox, uh, on this basketball team. So, uh, And we're going to leave our mics on because we've actually got in-person yes. singing tonight. So uh, the national anthem is going to be sung by the choir from the high school led by Miss Hannah Ledgerwood. Um, so you're going to hear that through our mics. If you if you hear other people talking, I'm sorry, but that's that's the best way that we can, <laughs> that's what we can we're capture them. Because we want those kids to, to be heard here. So just a few seconds away from our national anthem, we'll pause and hear that, and then we'll come back here with our starting lineups here in this contest between the Senators and the Rock Creek Academy Lions. So... We're going to pause here our national anthem, and we'll be back here with you in just a few moments. And those kids did yeah. a great job oh, yeah. with that. That was very special. And Hannah does such a great job with them here. And uh, just a, a special treat here tonight. I'm sure we may see them next week oh, as well. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure we're going to get some treats next week with all the national anthems that will go on. Absolutely. So we're ready for our starting lineups here tonight. Of course, Rock Creek will be announced first here. Coach Chris Brown, the head coach for the Lions here this evening, as we get ready to uh, – hear how Rock Creek will uh, put their starters out there. That's Claude Combs, our PA announcer here. We'll announce him. And 
And your West Washington Senator. So first four Rock Creek here this evening. For the Lions. Number two, Ladarius Wallace, a 5'8 senior for Rock Creek. And a 5'3 senior, number 12, or sophomore, Gavin Taylor will start. Number 22 will also start, Kalen Brown. He is also a sophomore. And Mario Dipper, the seven foot senior, will start in the middle. And number 40, Jalen Treat, we talked about 6'7 and a senior for the Lions here tonight. And now the starters for your West Washington Senators here this evening on senior night. As we'll get them announced here. Coach Clayton Sullivan, seniors, 10 and 10 on the year. Looking to build here for some momentum before sectional. Number 20, Lane Hofler, just two points away from that 1,000 point career scoring here at uh, West Washington, a senior at 6'5". Number 22, Kenton Chase will start at one guard as well. He's a 5'10 junior for Coach Sullivan. At another guard, number three, Jackson Cameron. He's 5'10 and also a junior here. Number one, Mason Cox, the other senior for the Senators here at six foot. And at the other forward, Number 12, Ian Rosenbaum at 6'4", and a junior for Coach Clayton Sullivan here tonight will be the starters for West Washington. So we get ready to get this game underway here as they'll start Wallace, Taylor, Dipper, Treat, and Brown for the Rock Creek Lions here tonight. Senators will jump it up here. Dipper will go against Hofler. It's one of the few games that <laughs> uh, Lane has been the smaller guy yeah. here jumping ball. So uh, we'll see how it gets underway. As Hofler will jump it up against Dipper here. Officials will set the ball, put it in the air, and Dipper controls the tip into the backcourt. It'll go to Ladarius Wallace. He'll bring it across the timeline. Sets things up here, flip it off there to uh, Number 12, that's Taylor. Now gets it back over to Wallace, back to Taylor. Far side, they try to go low to treat, and they turn it over. So the Senators with good defense there. Ian Rosenbaum with the steal, gets it off to Kenton Chase. Now back to Rosenbaum here on the near wing. Rosenbaum looking, goes baseline to Kenton. Kenton back to Rosenbaum, now back to Kenton. He'll wheel around, they'll take it to the other side to Cameron, now to Cox. Mason with it on the far side, drives in towards the free throw line, cut off there, gets it back to Kenton, now off to Lane. Hopefully will pull it down, deep three by Lane, and there it is. He hits the three, and that puts him over a thousand here for his career. One thousand, pull it down, deep three by Lane, and there it is. Shot to go down, he hits, and what a career he's had here at West Washington as he will continue his basketball career at Manchester College yeah, coming up. And Manchester has some people here in the in the stands. So. Oh, yeah. So a great feat for Lane here, and he gets it on his first shot. Yeah. And that's uh, quite an accomplishment well, here. Well, that's the way to get it out of the way. Now yeah, we can get play it the out rest of the game. Now we can play ball. So three to nothing Senators here as Lane knocks down that three-point shot. Uh, Rock Creek will inbound. They'll get it into Brown. Now back to Wallace. He'll bring it up. Gets it off far side there. Number 12, Taylor with it. Taylor back to Wallace. They're looking inside. Can't get it in there. Now they go down low to Taylor. It's funny. They got Taylor at 5'3", and then uh, the seven-footer in Dipper. Yeah. <laughs> so Taylor with it. He'll drive. Kicks it off to Dipper. He'll shoot the three. Can't get it to go. Rebound Hofler as Lane will pull it down. Gets it off to Kent. Chase with it. Gets it up to Rosenbaum. Ian, picked up there by Treat. Now off to Cox, far side to Cameron. Now back over to Hofler. Dipper on him. Lane with it, pulls it to the outside now, kicks it off to Cameron. Cameron back to Kenton Chase. Kenton will go on the attack. Now tries to get it off to Cox and just threw it away. So first turnover of the night by uh, the Senators. They just... I think it was Ian went, he, he tried stopped, get, yeah. and Kenton thought he was going to keep going, so the bounce pass never got to where it was needed. So. Nope. 
Taylor with it, gets a far side to Wallace, now down inside to get it to Treed. He'll kick it off to Dipper. Dipper will spin in the lane, goes up strong and got it to go. Nice buck move there. Yep, as he puts their first bucket down of the night. Three to two here, Senators. A little pressure by the Lions. Now Kenton breaks it. Nobody picks him up. He gets it to Kent, or out to Cameron. Now back to Kenton. Baseline, he spins on Dipper and gets it to go. That's going to be a mismatch. There's there's five inches there. Yeah, I said Dipper, actually. It, it wasn't Dipper, it was Taylor. Yeah. If it had been Dipper, if it's the other way, it's a, shot yeah, off. it's a foot difference. Yeah, so Taylor <laughs> with it out front. He'll kick it far side there to uh, 22 Brown. Brown back out. Now back over here it comes to Taylor as he'll pull it back out. Now goes baseline to Dipper. He's looking inside, can't find anybody, kicks it out to Brown. Brown with it, kicks it far side, back over there to Taylor. Taylor now to Dipper, free throw line shot, and he got the extra roll. He's got all four of their points. It's a nice smooth roll there. Yep, five to four here. Off to Rosenbaum now for the Senators. He looks down low, can't find anybody. Now gets it out to Cox, over to Cameron on the far wing. Lob pass in the corner to Rosenbaum. He'll shoot the three, ooh, in and out. But the rebound there by Mason Cox. Cox picks it up, gets it back to, uh, over to Kenton Chase. Now to Cameron, he pulls up, free throw line shot. Can't get that one to go. Ball smacked around, Cox gets another rebound. Kicks it out to Hofler. Lane now back to Kenton. Five to four here, Senators. Kenton behind the back, now off to Cameron here on the near wing. Jackson with it, looking, gets it down low to Mason Cox. Cox looking baseline, gets it out to Hofler, around that screen, another three up, and he got it to go. So That's a good six. feeling for, for uh, Lane. Two, yeah, first two hot. shots going. Eight to four here. Brown with it as he brings it up for the Lions, gets it off far side, they get it over to Taylor. Now to treat, he looks inside, Dipper gets it, catches it in the lane, spins, nice move there, and he scores again. He's got all six of their points, so eight to six here. That's a, a lot of length to try to stop. It's hard to stop. They get it off now to Rosenbaum, do the Senators. He gets it back to Cox. Cox now over to Hofler on the far side. He'll pull it down, shoot another deep three off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound pulled down and out of there as uh, Wallace comes out with it, kicks it out to Brown. Brown looks, now back to Wallace. Wallace will spin, goes over in the corner. Taylor will shoot the three, and he got it. We did a nice job of stopping the first rush there in transition, but then got lost in the half court, so. Yeah, nine to eight, Rock Creek takes the lead here. Kenton Chase back the other way for the Senators, heavy pressure there. He'll get it off to Cameron, off to Hofler. He'll shoot it. Now, that one's kind of blocked, but I think they're going to say Dipper yeah, got him, he on, got the him on the hand. So, Dipper picks up his first foul. It takes a lot for Lane to miss it that bad. Yeah, <laughs> he wouldn't miss it that bad. So, Dipper uh, with that first foul, the first for the team as well. And Lane will go to the free throw line. Going to give him two there. Two free throws. They say he was inside the three-point line. Now, so. it's going to be three. Now three, change their mind. They're so used to two, so. Oh, wow. He missed that that was badly. short. <laughs> yeah, he, you <laughs> could tell Maybe that he one. didn't block. When Maybe he didn't touch it. When hand, it uh, didn't look <laughs> It rolled good. off kind of easy. So he misses the first one. Two more coming here for Lane. Second one's up. Yeah, that, that one looked good. a lot better. A lot better shot. So he gets that one to go. Ten to, or nine to nine here. He'll get one more here, shooting three free throws out of that uh, three-point foul. So the third one's up, and it's good. So he gets two of three, and the Senators take the lead back 10-9. to nine. Up quickly to Brown are the Lions. He'll pull it down, kicks it back out there to uh, Wallace. Wallace now to Taylor, back to Wallace. Wallace wheels around, kicks it to Taylor. Another three up by him off the front of the rim. No good, and Rosenbaum with a good rebound. As he pulls it down, hands it off to Kenton Chase, now to Cameron. That may be the Senator's defensive plan. Let, let, him let shoot. Taylor yep. beat you at the three-point line if that's where you're going. Cameron goes low to Kenton Chase, now off to Titan Williams, who checked in. His first shot up, bounces around, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down there by Taylor. He's up quick with it, takes it down, throws it up, but Dipper's there for the rebound, and... They're going to count the shot. Nope, foul's nope. on the floor. Foul on the floor. 
Going to get four. Going to get Titan Williams, Williams for a hold. Yep. Probably good because Dipper was going to go up and throw that oh, one down. Yeah, you know he was. So Titan picks up the first foul for the Senators, and Brown will inbound. He looks, gets it out. Taylor with it. Back to Brown in the corner. He'll shoot the corner three off the front of the rim, and Rosenbaum with another rebound. Ian's done a good job on the boards for us right now. Ten to nine off to Kenton Chase. Now to Rosenbaum here on the near wing. He looks down low, can't find anybody. Gets it to Titan Williams. Now over to Cameron. He'll shoot the three, and bam! Cameron knocks down his first shot of the night. 13 now to nine, a four-point lead by the Senators. It'll come off to Wallace. Wallace goes over in the corner to Brown. Now inside to Treat. Back to Brown. He looks baseline. Cut off there. Now steps back. Shoots a three off the rim. No good. Can't chase with the rebound. We're doing what we need to do yeah. on the boards as we get that rebound. Rosenbaum with it now looking. Gets it to Titan. Williams with it at the free throw line. Now off to Cameron. Over to Lane. Hopefully with it. Far side. Pulls it down, kicks it back out to Kenton Chase. Now over to Cameron. He throws it down low to Williams. Lost it. And a foul going to be called on the floor. Yeah, against Titan was the, getting held down there. Yeah. He was getting some of the lane treatment. So Brown will pick up his first foul, team second. Grayson McCoy will check into the game here. He'll give Ian Rosenbaum a break. 13 to 9 Senators. They'll inbound underneath their own bucket here. Kenton Chase to throw it in with 1.39 to go here in the first quarter. Gets it into McCoy, out to Cameron. Cameron with it, finds McCoy wide open, and he gets it. Easy he, got, he got lost in there. <laughs> nobody picked him up. He checked in, and nobody knew they had him. So Treat with it now, out high. He'll dribble in, free throw line, kicks it out. As it comes out there to Taylor, Taylor far side. Gets it back out there to Wallace. Now back out to Taylor, down to Wallace. He'll dribble around, hands it off. Number 10 who come into the game for them. That's Jackson. Jackson now to Treat. Now to Dipper. He'll drive, goes in strong, and got the bucket. Yep. They're so long. That's so hard to defend. Lane tries to get up, but with the seven-foot wingspan, he just can't do it. He's got eight of their 11, so 15 to 11 here. Senators by four. Hopefully with it. Out high as he'll control it. Now dribbles, goes down baseline, lost his footing, picks it up, gets it out to McCoy, now to Cameron. Cameron with it, looking, now back to McCoy. Now off to Kenton. Chase gets tripped, now kicks it back out to McCoy. Now off to Cameron. Cameron tries to get it down low. Treat uh, tried to save it, but uh, yeah. it's out of bounds. Be out of bounds already. Line. I don't know what's going on on the floor, but yeah, they're all like over the place. Everybody's falling down out there. There must be some perspiration or something on the floor. So uh, Titan Williams will inbound. He'll kick it out to Cameron. Jackson with it. Gets it off to Kenton. Kenton with uh, Wallace all over him. So Kenton backs it out with uh, 18 seconds. 15 to 11, Senators with the four-point lead. Kenton now goes on the attack, seven seconds, gets it into McCoy. McCoy looks, can't find anybody, now gets it to Cameron, open three, can't knock it down, and it's tipped. And that's the end of the first quarter here. So the Senators with a four-point lead, 15 to 11, we'll take a break and be back here on your home for Senator Sports. West Washington live stream and WWSR. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. All right, back here live at the Ron Smith Court here at West Washington High School. Senators up 15 to 11 over Rock Creek here at the end of the uh, first quarter. 
Lane Hofler uh, with uh, eight points to lead the Senators and Dipper with 8-4. Rock Creek, our two leading scorers at this point in the game. 15 to 11 here, Senators uh, pretty good first quarter. They done a nice job on the glass, didn't give Rock Creek a whole lot of second chance opportunities. And they'll get the ball to start here. Kenton will bring it across, track coming here. He gets it down low to McCoy. McCoy on the baseline, lost it for a second. Now gets it out to Kenton. Kenton dribbles far side. They're trapping him, gets it to McCoy. He'll pull up, shoot it, got it. Nice bucket there. They're going to leave McCoy yeah. open and he's going to make them pay. 17 to 11, a six point lead. Other way with it, Wallace far side. He'll dribble around, kicks it out. As it comes out there to number 10, Jackson, he'll pull it down inside the three-point line. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Kenton Chase. Kenton up quickly, gets it to Rosenbaum. He'll drive it. Now backs up, finds Lane down the, uh, cutting down the lane. Can't get it to go. Dipper with the rebound. And the Lions back the other way. Dipper will bring it up. Hands it off over there, far side as it goes to Taylor. Taylor now back out to Wallace. Off to Jackson here. Jackson will wheel around, free throw line. Kicks it far side there to uh, number 12, Taylor. Taylor pulls it down, gets it out to Wallace. He'll shoot the three and got it to go. It's a nice bucket there that they are able to run some of their offense. Yeah, well, Taylor with his, or Wallace with his first uh, points, a three-pointer, 17-14. Senators lose it as McCoy uh, threw a bad pass over there to Hofler. He can't control it and the second turnover of the night for West Washington. It will go back to the Lions here, down three, 17-14. Wallace will inbound as he'll kick it in. It'll come into Jackson. Jackson to bring it up. He'll get it back to Wallace, far side. Wallace around the screen there from Treat, gets it off. Taylor with it, far side to Jackson now. Jackson looking. Pulls it down, free throw line. Now pulls it back out. Hands it off there to Wallace. He'll back up. Now kicks it far side to Taylor. Taylor on the drive. Pulls it up in the lane. Shoots it. Can't get it to go. Dipper there with the rebound and back up and in. He that's where again. that's where we're going to struggle if they yep. can get, you know, second opportunities, third opportunities. 17-16. Got to box him out for sure. Kenton Chase with it. Gets it off to Williams. Titan looking. Dribbles, goes baseline, lost it. Another turnover there, steal by the Lions. They get it up quickly, tried to get it to Dipper, almost tipped it in. He didn't mean to. A timeout called by the Senators here. 5.47 to go here, a 30-second timeout. Yeah, that was that was just a, an all-out mess all over yeah. the place. Well, they threw it up, and Dipper, I think, uh, got it tipped, but then he tried to tip it up, and it almost went in, yeah. bounced off, and uh, we were able to get the rebound there. But uh, Coach uh, wanted to call a timeout here to talk things over a little bit, slow things down. One-point lead here, 17-16. 5.47 to go here. You know, the Senators have done a nice job on the offensive side, running their offense, finding the mismatches, being able to, you know, get points in that way. But then on the defensive side, it seems like they've lost some of the shooters. Yeah, points. they're going to have to find them. And, you know, Rock Creek's trying to speed the game up a little bit. They tried to do it there in transition, and we were lucky enough that they tipped it up and it didn't go in. Now full court pressure. They'll get it in to Kenton Chase. He'll bring it up, Wallace on him. Kenton now gets it across the timeline. Dribbles here near side looking, gets it off to Titan Williams. Titan will pull it down, gets it in the lane to Rosenbaum. Nice shot fake and he scores it. Nice bucket there by Ian to be able to get that one up. 19-16 here and they'll drive in the lane. Treat with his first bucket as he throws one up, gets it to go, 19-18. Jackson, or er, excuse me, uh, Kenton Chase with it. He'll bring it back up for the Senators. Gets it off to Titan Williams here. Dipper on him. He looks, now gets it out to Cameron. Cameron will pull it down, goes far side to Mason Cox. Cox with it. Lane Hofler up and ready to check in at the next dead ball. Cox drives, almost lost it. Kenton picks it up, pulls it down, shoots it off the front of the rim. Titan with a nice board, and he can't score, but he gets fouled on the arm. So. It's going to be a couple shots for Titan here. I remember last time, 
maybe two years ago when we played Rock Creek here, it was we got both bigs in foul trouble, yeah. which worked out really well. Well, they kind of they moved from behind there, and Titan just made a good effort to get that board and jumped in there, and he hits the first free throw. 20 to 18 here. Senators up by two. Titan will get another one here. Second one's up. Bounces and goes in. He There's got a the nice shooter's, shooter's roll. <laughs> <laughs> Titan coming over and talking to Lane. He's like, I tried to miss it so I could stay in the game. <laughs> 21 to 18, a three-point advantage now. 4.47 to go here in the first half. They'll bring it up. Wallace will hand it off to Taylor. Taylor with it. Gets it off to Wallace. Now in the corner. Jackson will shoot the three off the mark. Rebound again by Ian. That's four rebounds for him here in the first half. He'll hand it off to Kenton Chase. Kenton will bring it across. Sets things up here for the Senators. Kenton now off to Cameron. Jackson looking, goes in the corner to Rosenbaum. He'll wheel around, free throw line, gets it out to Cameron. Now to Kenton. Kenton will drive, nothing there looking. Oh, he had Ian back door. Now they go down to him. Yeah, but he now gets he's trapped <laughs> in there by Treat. Now spins, nice move. Oh, and the ball gets stuck. Jump ball, it'll go back to Rock Creek. Mason Cox showing off the ups there, yeah. able to get up and get that ball unstuck. Yeah, I think Ian tried to bank that in, but it just got <laughs> wedged right in there. So That's a little low for a bank. Yeah, it is, 21 to 18. <laughs> if you're banking it off the bottom of the backboard, <laughs> you're pretty good. Wallace will hand it off to Taylor. Two, three zone shown here by the Senators. And they lose it out of bounds as number 30 checked in. That's Florence, and he loses it off his foot. That 2-3 so, that zone worked out perfectly. Yep, second turnover by the Lions here. Lane will throw it inbounds. He'll get it into Kenton Chase. Kenton with it in the backcourt as he'll bring it across. Gets it across the timeline. Now picks up his dribble, gets it off to Mason Cox, back to Kenton. Kenton looking in the corner, gets it to Hofer. He'll shoot it deep and, ooh, in and out. Ball tipped, though, by uh, Rosenbaum. Out to Cameron and back to Kenton now. Back to Jackson. He finds Lane cutting. Lane picks it up, baseline, spin moves. Kind of a hook shot, yeah. no good. Treat with the board. He'll bring it up now. Drives and ooh, runs into Cox. They're going to call the foul on Mason. Man, that looked like Mason had position, but... Uh, his first Those of you foul. at home can make that decision. Second team foul, so not any foul trouble here. But the uh, Lions will have to inbound underneath their own bucket here. Wallace to throw it in, gets it into Taylor. He'll pull it down. Now kicks it off there to Florence. Back out to Taylor. Taylor goes far side to Wallace. He'll shoot the three off the mark. Rebound treat inside. Can't get it to go, though. Tip back up by Rosenbaum. And finally, Wallace comes down with it. He gets it off the treat, and he'll score it. Nice, nice move there. Second effort. Um, I didn't know. I don't know who the guard was, but one of the guards pulled down the rebound, and Wallace, they were able to yeah. feed it. He got it off the treat. So 21 to 20 here. Senators with a one-point lead. Jacks or er, uh, excuse me, Kenton Chase on the far side with it. He'll go on the attack. Blows by everybody and scores it. Nice move there by Kent. 23 to 20. Wallace with it, gets it back out there to Florence. Now far side here to Taylor. Taylor to Treat, Treat inside, Dipper with it. Looking, now back to Treat, and gonna be a foul on the floor. Can't I'm not chase. exactly sure that we weren't in a box and one there. Uh, we kind of were a little bit. <laughs> I don't know Dipper. that that was supposed to be what it was, but Jackson, uh, Jackson Cameron was chasing uh, number two. Wallace, yeah. Wallace all over, so I don't know if we were really in a box and one or if that just, Somebody was confused and didn't remember we were like. in the zone. So Wallace will inbound to Treat. He'll take it in the corner. Looking, now goes way out high to Taylor. Back to Treat baseline. He'll make a nice move. Tried to score it and Dipper there to tip it up. Can't get it to go and out of bounds off of Lane Hofer. Yeah, Lane just couldn't get his hands up and grab it. Looked like he got fouled. He kind of <laughs> got hit in the face. But uh, no call there by the officials. So it'll go back to Rock Creek. Wallace gets it inbound, it'll come into Taylor. He'll kick it out, now goes baseline to Treat. Treat with it, pulls up, 10-footer off the mark, can't get it to go, and Kenton Chase with the rebound, gets it up quickly to Cox, and 
He'll score it. Nice bucket by Cox to get all the way up there. His first bucket of the night, so 25. Right back down, they get it to Dipper. He loses it, and Kenton tries to steal it from behind. Double dribble, so a turnover on the Lions here. 25 to 20, Senators out to a five-point lead here, so doing what we have to do here to keep this lead going. Yeah. Nice, nice box and one there. I mean, that's a great, great option to throw at them. Yeah, kind of got them confused a little bit too. So uh, we'll have to bring it up now as Kenton will bring it across the timeline. He'll dribble far side. Comes around, looks for Rosenbaum, gets it to Hofler. Deep three by Lane off the mark and treat with the board. He'll get it out quickly to Wallace. Wallace will drive, throws it up high for Dipper. He tried to dunk it and couldn't get it to go. Wanted to foul. Rebound Kenton. <coughs> Back the other way, gets it off to Hofer. <coughs> Excuse me, he'll spin, get fouled from behind. A technical now called. Coach Brown not very happy about the, uh, the foul not being called on the other side. Wallace got called for the personal and then we have a technical foul. Number 14, Dipper, gets the technical foul, so that'll be his second as he was talking to the yeah. official. Yeah, so he picks up two fouls on one play there. I thought it was Coach Brown who got it, but it's not. So Lane, it looks like, will so shoot So Lane is the shooting tech the technical. Yep. He'll step up to the line. That one up and good. It's the first one to go, 26 to 20 here. He'll get the second one now. It's up and it's good as well. 27 to 20, biggest lead of the night at seven for either team. And now that foul on the floor, Senators will get it out of bounds here. Right, Senators able to get out to a seven point lead here. And Lane, for the first time, is on the floor, and Dipper is not guarding him. So. Yeah. Kenton Chase with it, looking, goes down baseline. Lane will spin. Nice shot up, man. Tough shot, but he nails it. And Lane uh, puts it out to a nine-point lead here, 29 to 20. Wallace back the other way, gets it off to Taylor here on the near wing. Taylor back out to Wallace. Wallace with it. Back in the corner to Taylor, now to Treat. And a foul on the floor going to be called. Lane puts both forearms in his back. That doesn't, you can't do that down there. He's a big guy, but you can't do that. That's Lane's first foul, team's third, actually fourth. Go inbound to Treat, comes back out to Taylor, far side to Brown, back out to Taylor. Now he'll get it off to Wallace. Wallace to Taylor, he'll drive. Kicks it out there to 10, Jackson. Now back to Wallace, far side it goes to Brown. Now in the corner to Taylor. Taylor with it. Out to Wallace. Brown. Now in the corner. Jackson. He'll shoot the three off the mark. Another rebound by Rosenbaum. As he'll pull it down and get it off to Kenton Chase with 25 seconds to go here in the half. Great second quarter for us. Kenton Chase with it. He'll bring it across the timeline. Looks like he may hold it here for the last shot. As clock winds down to 15, 13. Now he'll go on the attack, under 10, he'll drive, gets cut off, kicks it out to Cameron. Cameron steps around, shoots a deep three, can't get it to go, and the rebound pulled down by the Lions. But that's the end of the half here, so the Senators go in with a nine-point lead, 29 to 20. And we'll take a break and come back with our halftime stats. You're listening to Senator Sports here on West Washington Livestream and WWSR. Gates. Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, 
Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family-owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Batt at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Michael Long with American Family Insurance offers auto, home, business, farm, and life insurance, which includes motorcycles, boats, ATVs, UTVs, classic and antique autos, renters, manufactured homes, rentals along with event coverage such as weddings, golf hole-in-ones, conferences, and much, much more. He's licensed in Indiana, Ohio, and Florida. For more information, look him up on Facebook to see insurance tips and to sign up for his agency giveaways. Michael Long, American Family Insurance, all your protection under one roof. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA. It's Paul Neidig. And, Paul, this is an incredibly busy weekend, unbelievably important weekend for student athletes around our state. On the girls' side, we have regional action uh, around Indiana. We also have swimming finals and wrestling semi-states. And uh, in the swimming finals, people in our state can be very proud of the fact that we're going to be 
be seeing some tremendous uh, world-class type times from some of these ladies. It's unbelievable, Coach. And, you know, we've talked on this show before about the quality of the student-athlete and our coaches that work with them. But this weekend at the girls' swim meet at the, at the auditorium, uh, you know, and you never know until you actually swim. But we have some young ladies that have worked hard enough that they're going to have the opportunity to put a national record up on the board for high school swimmers. <laughs> and oftentimes, uh, and there'll be names that I would have guessed that um, we'll probably see on the Olympic uh, stage someday. And that's just that, that's just that's the quality of swimmers that we have in the little old midwest state here of indiana (laughs) well we have one of the greatest places to do it uh, that's for sure but it just seems to me that over the course of time like uh, all the sports we talk about paul swimming has has gotten better and better been on the national stage with uh, some of some of our hoosier uh, men and women who've uh, done well in international and national competition so why not continue this trend absolutely and i'm i'm sure we will and i gotta give a shout out there's a many swimmers but my girl lily king from Evansville, indiana kind of right, put this thing right. on the map a little bit with that finger wag in one moment in an in olympic but uh, you know these kids are out there and they want to be on that stage just like lily was um Uh, here in indiana also mentioning uh wrestling semi-states as you point toward you and i both know is the the penultimate prize of winning a state championship in wrestling uh this is an unbelievably busy and important weekend for you absolutely coach you know like we talked about swimming's on the docket we're going to have our our semi-state wrestlers are going to be out across the state from evansville indiana to fort wayne and and everywhere in between and then um we got 16 sites with little basketball being played this weekend and and we're going to crowd 32 uh regional champions this weekend uh and then we're really excited about uh the coming weekends and that semi-state weekend is going to be two games uh which is going to be the following weekend two games with an opportunity to go win the big walnut trophy with of the state of indiana that state championship and it's just an exciting time of the year and it's a it's good to be at the IHSA right now. Yeah, it certainly is. We've talked about this. Uh, just to remind everyone, format's different on the regionals than it has been. Uh, it's uh, and a format everyone's excited about. If you can, let's talk about uh, what small changes they'll see. Absolutely, Coach. You know, and we talked about before, we, we switched the regional around. Regional traditionally was a two-game regional, so you had to play in the morning and, and then get rested up and come back and play that night for a chance to advance to the semi-state. Mm-hmm. Well, we switched that because after that tough sectional week, which oftentimes includes three games uh, almost back-to-back, then this regional format, now they have to prepare for one opponent. Just one. So they've got all week long to focus on one, bring their best right. game. And then if they win that single, they got their team rested up, and then they're going to have to play a tough round. And it should be a tough round for that semi-state uh, with four teams in their class at one of our basketball cathedrals in this state. Um, and then they're going to, if they can get through that, that morning win, and that takes two wins that day, uh, then they're going to represent their community at Indianapolis at the Gamebridge Fieldhouse, the home of the Pacers and the Fever. I know every Everyone's excited as they should be, and congratulations in advance to you and the staff and the member institutions and everybody involved. He's the commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Knighting. Paul, it's always great to talk to you. Thanks for your time, and best of luck to you and everybody involved, and have a fantastic weekend. Thanks, Coach, and and thank you for doing everything you do for student-athletes across the state. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. All right, back here live at the Half West Washington High School here. The Senators enjoying a nine-point lead right now over Rock Creek as we're here at the half. Both teams are a little slow coming out. But we but, had everything going on during halftime. Oh, had a lot of halftime <laughs> stuff. The winter <laughs> league, we had the chuck-a-duck, we had split the pot, split the pot. had a little bit of everything. But the Senators here to run down the first half scoring. Lane Hofler uh, leads the Senators with 12 points in the game at this point. Grayson McCoy and Kenton Chase both with uh, four points. Uh, Jackson Cameron had the one three-pointer for three. Mason Cox with two, 
Um, Ian Rosenbaum with two, and Titan Williams with two free throws. So pretty balanced uh, attack for the Senators for Rock Creek. They only had uh, four players score, led by uh, Dipper with uh, 10 points in that first half. Treat with uh, four. Um, and then uh, Taylor and Wallace both with a three-pointer, so uh, to give them their 20. We outscored them 14-9 uh, to nine in that second quarter after a, a four-point deficit at the end of the first quarter to give us this nine-point lead. So pretty good first half by the Senators. I, I really was surprised that Rock Creek didn't try to push it a little bit. They did at times, but we've done a good job slowing them down on the uh, defensive end and, uh, you know, enjoying this nine-point lead. So Yeah, I'm sure Coach Brown wants them to speed this up oh, more yeah. than – even more than what they're doing. They, he wants it, you know, at a blistering pace. Get get up, get moving. So, yeah. you know, I think that's probably what we're going to see this second half. I agree. I think that's something that they're going to push the tempo a little bit because you know they want to get out and run with the speed that they have. But they just haven't been able to knock down shots. And we've done a pretty good job, you know, Dipper with – with 10 points, but uh, we've done a pretty good job on him. He's got two fouls uh, for them, the only person with two. We've only got uh, four different players with one foul piece. Cox has one, Williams has one, Lane Hofer with one, and Kent Chase with one. So nobody really in foul trouble here as we get ready to start this uh, third quarter in our second half here. I want to thank all our uh, sponsors here of the uh, – of this uh, first uh, half of play. So 29 to 20 as we get back going here. Senators will have the ball to start the uh, third quarter here. I want to announce again, we are looking for sponsors for next week's sectional here on West Washington live stream and WWSR. So not only the visual, but the audio as well. So. If you're interested, please give myself or the Professor Craig Akers a call here or uh, Athletic Director Darren Russell here at school. So Rock Creek comes out with a little pressure. Senators inbound to Kenton Chase. He gets picked up there right away by Taylor. Kenton driving far side, gets it out. Nope, pulls it back down. Now looking now for he's somebody. In trouble. Gets it off the camera and over to Cox. Cox. That's a name that we haven't called a no. whole lot in the first half. He hadn't touched the ball a whole lot. Rosenbaum with it now. He'll spin, gets it out to Cameron. Jackson pulls it around, hands it off to Hofler. Lane with it, Dipper on him. He'll pull it back out now, looking. Now gets it off to Cameron. Inside it goes to Kenton Chase, free throw line. Kenton bounces around, now goes on the attack, lost the ball for a second, picks it up, gets it out to Cameron. He'll shoot a deep three off the front of the rim. No good, rebound pulled down by Treat. And they're out and running, they'll get it off. Uh, to Wallace, he'll pull it down, gets it to Brown. Brown in the corner to Taylor, he'll drive baseline. Kicks it back out, goes off of Cameron's back and picked up there by Kenton. He'll drive, takes it in strong and scores it as he's able to get the first bucket of the second half here and the biggest lead of the night at 31 to 20. So the Lions start the first, uh, or the second half here with a turnover. Treat inside the dipper, he'll wheel around and a push. Going to be uh, on Rosenbaum, I believe. This is where the Lions seem to fall apart. When they get down, you know, they want to speed it up and they just start chucking shots. So, you know, this is where the Senators can put kind of a nail in the coffin. Go inbound and it'll come to Wallace. Now to Taylor. Taylor with it, looking. Gets an inside free throw line. Dipper with it. Gets a loaded treat. Kicks it out for the three there. Shot up no good, but Dipper with the board. And knocked off of him out of bounds. We got we got two guys over there, and we still can't get the yep. rebound. Well, Dipper was just in the right <laughs> spot at the right time as he was able to pull that Coach rebound Coach Sullivan down. not happy. He's out all the way to the S. No inbound. It'll come in there to 22 Brown. Brown with it. Gets it off here to Taylor. Now over to Treat. Treat with it. Looking. Kicks it back out to Brown. He'll go far side. And they'll get it inside the dipper. He'll spin on Hofler. Now goes up strong. Can't score it. Tries to tip it. No good. Kicked out to Brown. He'll drive in the lane. Throws it up. And Hofler fouls him. So he'll get a couple free throws. And Lane just picked up his second personal. Got a rebound. And that will put uh, Brown at the line shooting a couple free throws. Well, that's what happens when you play a box in one. It's yep. hard to rebound out of, number one. And they've got two bigs. So then they're just packing the lane full of people. 
First free throw up and good by Brown. And so. your, your box becomes a triangle real quick. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> he gets the first one to go, he'll have another one. And so he'll step back to the line, eyes it, flies it, and it's good. So he gets them both. 31-22, back to a nine-point lead. Hopefully we'll get it inbounds to Rosenbaum. He'll kick it off to Kenton now, and Chase will bring it up. He'll get picked up there by Taylor. Chase with it, gets it off to Rosenbaum here, looking inside. Now far side it goes to Kenton. Kenton gets it out to Cameron. Jackson now off to Hopeful. Lane with it, wheels around, kicks it back to Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum here on the near wing, looking, now goes baseline, gets cut off there. And loses the ball for a second, picks it back up, and it's tipped out of bounds. Off of the lines, it'll go back to the Senators here, right in front of their own bench as Ian Rosenbaum will inbound. Rosenbaum will get it into Chase, Kenton with it. Now hands it off to Cameron. Jackson with it. Looking, finds Kenton Chase down on the block, and he four, gets double teamed. Four guys foul. converge on yep. him down there, so not very often that you see a guard go to the post and four guys converge on him. That's on Treat, his second team's first here in the second half. And Kenton Chase will inbound underneath his own bucket here. He'll get it in, it'll come into Rosenbaum. In with it, looking. Now drives, goes in, free throw line, kicks it out. Cameron will shoot it deep, three and buried it. Three points for all three. Jackson with his second. Three pointer of the night, so 34 to 22. A 12 point lead, biggest of the night here. Treat with it, free throw line, got, tries to get it down the dipper and it's tipped by the Senators. Yeah, I think Lane got a hand on that one as yep. it came through. Nobody was gonna catch that one, but Lane was just able to get his fingertips on it. And it'll go back to Rock Creek underneath their own bucket here. Brown will inbound. Speaking as, of boarding, I see Doc Nash in the house. Yeah, I'm sure he's scouting. Dipper drives, Cox goes to the deck and That's Dipper will score good. again. He's got 12. 24 to 34, 10 point lead here. Chase will bring it up, gets it off to Hofler on the far wing. He'll spin around, now pulls it back out. Now goes on the attack, Dipper on him there, gets cut off out to Cameron. He'll shoot another deep three and buried it. Jackson making him pay from outside. And it's uh, 37 to 24 here, 13 point lead. They'll go far side to Taylor. Taylor to treat, free throw line, he's looking, kicks it out to Brown, Brown inside, oh, it's kicked. It'll go back to Rock Creek. Thought we were gonna get a turnover there. You know, we said Doc Nash in the house probably scouting here. This would have been a game two, or last year that, you know, didn't really matter to Doc a whole lot. Well, both of these are sectional opponents. Yes, they are. So Brown will inbound, he'll bring it into Taylor, back to Brown, back to Taylor. Taylor looking. Gets it back to Brown here on the near wing. He looks inside, can't find anybody. Gets it off there to Wallace. Wallace far side to Taylor, now inside to Dipper. Back out, Taylor. Kicks it off to Wallace. He finds Taylor, he'll shoot another three off the mark and the ball tipped out of bounds. It'll go back to the Senators here as tipped off of Rock Creek. So Lane Hofer will inbound. He'll get it into Rosenbaum. Even Dipper just standing there is intimidating. Oh, yeah, seven <laughs> foot, man. It's hard to hard to teach that. Kenton will bring it up. Wallace on him. He'll dribble far side. Gets cut off there. Gets it out to Cameron. Jackson looking. Goes inside, and the ball tipped away. A turnover there by the Senators, their first of this quarter. They'll score it easy as they get it up in transition to Brown. And he hits the bucket. Thirty-seven twenty-six here, eleven point lead. Lane Hofler inbound, looking, gets it into Kent. Chase with it. He'll take off with it. Blows by Wallace, gets it off to Rosenbaum. In with it, far side. Can't find anybody there. Now I'll hand it back to Kenton. He'll wheel around, pulls up free throw line, back door, he goes to Rosenbaum, and he scores it as a foul will be called. 
Are they going to give him the bucket there? I don't know if they're going to count it or not. Before the shot. Before the say. shot. Titan Williams set to check in. Yeah, come in, give Mason Cox a breather. A foul on Wallace, so it'll be out of bounds to the Senators as Kenton will inbound. Timeout going to be called here by the Lions with 3.17 to go. Full timeout. We'll take a break here, Ward, and be back here. 37 26, West Washington with an 11 point lead. United Producers Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. All right, back here live, 317 to go here in the third quarter as the Senators have pushed it out to an 11 point lead, 37 26. They'll have the ball out of bounds underneath their own bucket here as Rock Creek took a time out here to talk things over. So Senators will inbound. Kent Chase to throw it in for West Washington. He'll get it in. It'll come into Rosenbaum. Now to Hofler. He'll pull it down. Deep three. Got it. As That's a nice it. play right there. His first bucket here of the second half. 40 to 26, a 14 point lead, biggest of night. Treat with it, he'll spin, pulls up, shoots it, got it. Nice smooth move there by Treat. 40-28, back to a 12 point lead. He'll get it up to Kenton Chase. He'll cut it, oh man, they oh, had tight Titan wide, was wide open. open on the opposite side. Yeah, they didn't get back very quick. Lane with it, looking, can't find anybody, gets it out to Cameron. He'll go down low to Rosenbaum. Ian with it, spins, nice move, pulls up, got it, 10-footer. She nails it. 42 to 28. Treat with it, spins the free throw line, tipped away from him, and the ball gets on the floor. And a timeout called by Rock Creek here with 2.19 to go in the third quarter. Treat had to dive on that one to catch it. 30 second, second timeout. Time so we'll stay here with you. But there were uh, senators all over the top of Treat. Yeah. He, he dove and two That's others uh, went right on top of him. So Titan come flying in there. Looked like a tackle from the uh, from his uh, spot in football. You know, yeah. he come flying in there trying to get the ball tied up, but. Uh, those of you at home get to see all, all three officials out there mopping yep. up the floor These along with two assistant coaches. This might be the best group of officials we've had, not not taking anything away yeah. from others we've had, but they, these guys have done a really good job. Well, these guys have some uh, experience. experience. There's some, yeah. there's some regionals in a, in a semi-state out there that I know of, yeah. so they've, they've got some experience. Yep, they've done a really good job. They do a great job of communicating with each yes, other. Yes, they do. So uh, Rock Creek will inbound here right in front of the scorer's bench as they'll throw it in. Wallace will get it into Taylor. Taylor will dribble here near side, now pulls it down, goes in free throw line, gets it off to Wallace, far side for a three, and he buried it. Three marks on number two, Darian Wallace. 31-42. Hofler has to throw it deep to McCoy. He gets trapped. Now back to Lane. Now finds Kent. Kent will pull it down. Gets it out to Hofler. He'll pull it down. Got two guys on him off to Kent. Somebody's got to be open. Yeah. McCoy. If there's, if there's two on Lane, <laughs> somebody's open somewhere. Yeah. So Kent will back it out with 1.45 to go here in the quarter. Now goes on the attack. He'll get it off to Rosenbaum. Goes in to Hofler at the free throw line. He'll pull up, shoot it. Got it. 
Lane scores again. And it's 44 to 31. Treat with it. Free throw line pulls up, tries to go inside the dipper, tip back out to Treat. He'll get it off to Taylor. Now in the corner to Brown. Back out to Taylor. Another three up by him. And it rims out. Hopefully fighting for the board. Wallace pulls it down. Goes up strong. Can't get it. Got it back and he scores. <laughs> Twice, he did a great job of blocking Lane out and yeah, sneaks did. in there and gets that rebound. 44-33, Rosenbaum with it. Deep pass and it's stolen by Dipper. Dipper will bring it up. Throws it deep in the corner here. Another three by Wallace and he buried it. Wallace heating up here, 36. 244, down to an eight point lead. So Rock Creek not done yet. Senators will get it up to Kenton. He'll get it off to Ian Rosenbaum. Back out to Kenton. Under 40 seconds to go here. Kenton dribbles. Trap coming here. He gets loose now, turns it over. So another turnover there. Treat steals it. He'll bring it up quickly. Lost it. Ball tipped, but tips it out to Rock Creek. Taylor back to Brown. He'll shoot the three, and he got it to go. This is what happens. The Senators yep. play a great Transition. quarter and then end up getting beat in the last minute of it. 39 to 44, Titan Williams with it. Gets it back to Hofer. He'll shoot a deep three. Can't get it. Rosenbaum tried, or Titan tried to tip it. And that's the end of the third quarter. Up five here, 44-39. And you, we'll, can, you can definitely feel the momentum has oh changed. Oh, yeah, it has changed a bunch. We'll take a break, come back here with the fourth quarter as the Senators lead by five here, 44-39. We chose West Washington because of the academic excellence to help prepare me to be a doctor. We chose West Washington because of the quality of our athletics and because of the championships we've won. We chose West Washington because once you step into these walls, you're family. All right, back here live as we get ready for the fourth quarter. The Rock Creek Lions have trimmed it down to a five-point lead here, 44-39, as they outscored the Senators here in the third quarter, 19-15. to Senators play a great quarter, but yeah, then in the last minute give up nine buckets yep. on three-pointers. So, Yeah, all three-pointers is uh, they're up to 39-44 to here. Like I said, uh, eight into that nine-point lead as they outscored us by four here. So, center's going to have to take care of things. Rock Creek definitely trying to speed it up. They've turned us over a few times. Three turnovers here in that quarter by the Senators. So, Rock Creek will get it here to start the fourth quarter just down, uh, down by five here, 44-39. Wallace to inbound. Here as we get the fourth quarter underway. He'll get it in. It'll come in to Taylor. Taylor will bring it up for the Lions. Dribbles far side. Now pulls it out. Gets it off to Wallace. He'll shoot another three off the mark. And treat with the board. Throws it inside to Dipper. He'll spin. Throws it up. Got it to go. Lowers his shoulder. Runs over Ian and able to get the bucket. 44-41. Down to a three-point lead. Rosenbaum with it. Looking. Gets it across to Cameron. Back out to Kent now. We got to attack. We, we're playing a little timid here, and yeah. I think that could get us in trouble. Cameron with it. Gets it in the corner to Rosenbaum. Cross court to Kenton. He'll pull it down. Gets it to Cameron. Back over to Kenton. Kenton will back it out. Three-point lead here. Now goes on the attack, gets it off to Titan. He'll find Kenton on the give and go. Dipper cuts him off. He'll get it back to Hofler and he'll bury it. The Senators have shot really well tonight. 46-41, back to a five-point lead. Wallace gets it off to Brown. Brown with it. Looking, wheels around, free throw line. Gets it back to Wallace. He'll spin, now takes off with it. Pulls it up baseline, now finds Dipper. Dipper gets it inside the tree on the block. He'll spin. Looks like he traveled. Lane Hofer kind of knocked that one away. Now they'll get it back down to Dipper. He gets double teamed. He's trapped there. 
Now he'll wheel out of it. Pulls it down. Looks to hand it off. Now gets it back out to Brown. Now in the corner. And a travel going to be called. So a little Lee hop is. step there yep. in, the, in the catch. With the turnover, their third. And it'll go back to the Senators here. Titan Williams will check out. Mason Cox back in for him. Senators inbound. Hofer gets it in to Rosenbaum. Ian now with a long pass. Dangerous one gets it to Cameron. Now off to Ian. Now back to Kenton. Cox wide open down there in the corner. Kenton with it. Goes far side to Hofer. Lane with it. Far side looking. Dipper out on him. Now gets it back out to Rosenbaum. Off to Cameron. Cameron with it. Looking. Now finds Lane. He cuts down inside. Now kicks it out. Rosenbaum. I thought he'd shoot that. Yeah, that was one. Gets that it back to Hofer. Tipped away shoot. from him. And now a foul as Treat reaches in. And that will be his third personal. Only I thought Ian should have put that yeah, one he up. He should have shot that one. Only the team's third foul. So it will be out of bounds. Nobody shooting free throws yet. Kenton will inbound here with uh, 5.43 to go in the game. Senators up 5, 46-41. He'll look, can't find anybody. Now gets it in to Rosenbaum off the glass, and he got it to go. Nice shot there by Ian. 48-41, back to a seven-point lead. Taylor gets it off to Wallace. Wallace now to Brown. Back to Taylor in the corner, back out to Brown. He'll get it to Treat. He'll pull it down. Free throw line shot. He buried it. 43-48. Five-point lead. Senators. Rosenbaum with it. Gets it back to Hofler. Lane back to Rosenbaum. Across to Kent. Chase with it. Wheels. Looks. Finds Rosenbaum. Now tipped out to Cameron. Back out to Kent. Kenton. Pull it down. Now hands it off to Cameron, Jackson, back to Kenton. Kenton drives, throws up a runner off the glass and got it. Nice, nice shot floater there by there. Kenton. Nice little floater in the lane, 50-43, back to a seven-point lead. Treat with it, gets it in the corner, three ball up and buried. As Brown hits another one. Cuts the lead to four. 50-46. Hofler with it, 428 here in the fourth quarter. He'll get it off to Rosenbaum, Ian back to Hofler. He'll get it across the timeline, gets cut off, ball tipped. Uh, Kenton uh, luckily picks it up, gets it to Cox, and he'll score. Uh, Coach Mason Sullivan gonna, able to get it to go. <clears throat> Coach Sullivan going to take a full timeout, so we're going to step aside, have a short commercial break from Eddie Gilstrap Motors, and we'll be back with the rest of the fourth quarter here in just a moment. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-227. 9421. That's 877 227 9421. Or just visit our website. All right, back here live on the Ron Smith Court here at West Washington High School. Senators up 52 46. A six point lead here over the Lions of Rock Creek as uh, Senators score there on a Nice shot there by Mason Cox in the paint. So, six point lead here, 412 to go. Just got to keep uh, working here. Rock Creek's cut into it a little bit. So, uh, Rock Creek will have it out of bounds. They'll go the full court here. As they'll inbound here. Senator's going to drop back into their box and one, maybe? Yeah, possibly. 2 3 zone here set up, but they'll. Uh, Break out of it now as Taylor will bring it up. Gets it far side to Brown. Brown with it. Back out to Wallace. Wallace far side to Taylor. He'll get it out to Dipper. Dipper looks at a three. Now pulls it down, shoots it. Air ball. Treat there, though. Got the rebound back up and in. Ian just got pinned underneath there. Nothing he can really do. 52-48. Senators get it up quickly to Cox. Back to Cameron. 
He'll get it off the Rosenbaum. Now back out to Kent. Kent will drive, pulls up, runs a floater, and got it to go. That's what he's got to do. 54, this is where it's dangerous because Rock Creek is going to play transition right now. And yep, Taylor off to Brown, now to Treat. Treat with it. Looking inside, gets a down low to Dipper. He'll spin, throws it up, can't get it to go. Rebound, Hofer. Lane pulls it down, now gets it off to Kenton. Kenton with a trap coming, gets it to Lane. They'll have to hurry, gets it across to Cameron. He'll get it off to Rosenbaum. Had Cox wide open underneath the bucket. Couldn't find him, though. Now he'll take off, and it's back tipped out of bounds. It'll go back to the Senators underneath their own bucket here. Put that one up into Coach Sullivan's family. Yeah. 54-48, <laughs> six-point lead here. Kenton to inbound. He finds Rosenbaum. Ian will pull it down there in the lane. Kicks it back out to Kenton now. 2.57 to go here. Kenton on the attack. Now drives baseline, pulls up by Dipper, gets it out to Jackson. He'll shoot it over to Hofler, deep three, can't get it. Rosenbaum tries to get the rebound, but Treat up high to pull that one down. Treat will bring it up. Nobody cuts him off. He goes in the lane, hands it off to Dipper, and he scores it easy. 54 to 50, four-point lead. Go inbound. It'll come into Rosenbaum. In back to Kenton. Now back to Rosenbaum. Gets it across to Cameron. Jackson, far side to Cox. Cox now to Hofler in the corner. Lane will pull it down, kicks it back out to Kenton. Throws it down inside to Rosenbaum with a mismatch, and uh, Not, Taylor has to foul him. <laughs> Nothing Taylor can do there. 6-4 on 5-3. Yeah. Taylor has his first That'll put Rosenbaum at the line. We talked about Kenton with the mismatch there. Well, Ian, even a bigger mismatch. <laughs> yeah. So Ian will go to the free throw line here. Just up four. First free throw's up, and it's long off the back of the rim. No good. Got to knock these down here. He'll get another one. Second one's up and it's long off no the back and missed them both. So they'll get the rebound, bring it up here. Brown, just a four over. point lead. Yep, hands it off to Wallace, 54 to 50, back to Brown. Brown looking, goes in the corner to Wallace, back to Brown here, he'll wheel around, goes far side to Taylor. Taylor, back to Wallace, back to Taylor. He'll dribble baseline, now finds Brown, kicks it out, Brown will drive. This is off the treat, he'll go in strong and score. 54-52, a two-point lead here. Brown will drive, kicks it out, and it'll go, it'll go back to West Washington. They say it went off of Taylor's arm there. So hopefully it inbound with a two-point lead here, 137 to go. Lane gets it in, will come into Kenton. Kenton trapped there, now throws a deep pass down to Cox. Mason gets it off to Rosenbaum, now to Cameron. Cameron out high to Kenton, he just barely got that one over to Hofler. He'll shoot a three, can't get it to go, and Cox chases down the board, tipped out of bounds off Rock Creek. They'll go back nice job there by West Mason Wilson. Cox to yeah. chase that one down in the corner. Yeah, he sure did. Senators just up two here, minute 21 to go in the fourth. And these long passes make me nervous. Yeah. Rosenbaum down bound. He'll get it in to Cameron, right back to Rosenbaum. Ian with it, hands it off to Kenton. Kenton now on the attack, pulls it down, free throw down. Now drives, looks, dishes out to Rosenbaum. Ian out to Hofler. 107 to go in the game, Dipper on him. Rock Creek with a lot of fouls to give here. They only got four team fouls, so they got to foul three times here to stop the clock. 58 seconds, two-point lead, and now there's a foul by Wallace. That'll be his third. He is. That's his fourth. That's, uh, I've just got him for three, and oh. the board just has him for three. Maybe only third, his third. Yeah. Rosenbaum then bound. He'll get it into Cameron, right back to Rosenbaum, and a foul going to be called on Taylor. His second. Team sixth. So next one will next put us one in, a put him in a bonus. Rosenbaum then bound again. 
Timeout going to be called here by Rock Creek. 52 seconds. A two-point lead here by the Senators. We're going to stay here oh, yeah. even with a full timeout. The, the Senators, you know, looking to finish this game off up to 52.8 seconds. You've got a, an experienced team on the floor. They should be able to handle the ball well enough. You know a foul's coming. Well, you're going to have to hit your free throws to win this game at this point because it's one possession game here, 54-52, and you know they're going to foul. And you know, so then the question becomes, who do you inbound the ball to? Got to get it into Kenton or Lane, I think. Yeah. They're your two better free throws. And Ian shooters. is normally the one who takes it. Out of bounds. Yeah, he'll so take it out of bounds. You've got you've got three r really good free throw shooters in Kenton Lane and Jackson Cameron, Cameron, all who can get the ball. And then your your fourth option is Mason, Mason. Cox, who will be open standing in a corner yeah, somewhere. Probably. I almost guarantee it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure Rock Creek wants to foul him if he if right. he gets the ball. Not that Mason can't hit the free throws, but uh, he's just kind of the uh, the fourth option for us, as you mentioned. So Rosenbaum to take it out here with 52 seconds. I don't have a wide enough angle lens to get Mason <laughs> in the picture, but he is literally standing right in front of the, the West Washington bench. <laughs> yeah, and he may have to go get this ball. Kenton breaks away, though. He'll take it, finds Cox. Mason will pull it back out. Pressure coming, gets it off to Cameron. And they foul Jackson. So number uh, 12, uh, Taylor, with the foul. That'll put Jackson Cameron at the line. Hadn't been up there tonight. So he'll step up there for the one. Coach Brown for Rock Creek is not very happy that there was another six or seven seconds that came off this clock when they were trying to get a, a foul. So Jackson will step to the line. First free throw up, man. He got the <laughs> shooter's roll. Yeah, that hit every bit of the rim and then right over and in. 55-52, he'll get another one here. Second free throw coming here with 44 seconds, and he buries that one. So he got them both, 56-52, a four-point lead. They'll inbound, it'll come to Wallace off to Taylor, far side. Taylor goes down to Dipper. He'll spin in the lane, and we'll foul him. We had some fouls to give, too. Yeah. We only got two team fouls. So that'll go against, hopefully, his third. And the team's third. Team's third. More fouls to give here. But you know they're going to inbound maybe here to Dipper and try to get a shot to foul. That'll, that's who it'll come into. He'll kick it out over to Brown. Brown finds Wallace in the corner for a three. Off the mark. Mason Cox Mason with the Cox board. Up and he'll get fouled right away as he'll go to the deck. And a foul on Rock Creek here. Number 12. That's on Taylor. He's picked up three fouls here in the last two minutes. So Mason Cox will go to the line. So he'll step up there for a couple big ones. Well, he'll have one in the bonus. Yeah, one in the bonus. You're right. A couple of big ones. A couple big ones. Yeah, if he can knock them both down here. First free throws up, and it's good. Nothing but net See? there by Mason. To totally right. A couple of big ones. A couple of big ones. 57, 52, a five-point lead here. And Mason at the line for his second one. 30 seconds left here. Second free throws up, and oh, it rimmed out. So they'll get it up quickly. Taylor with it. Gets it off the brown. And he traveled. Should be another is. travel. Turnover on the Lions. It'll go back to the Senators with 24 seconds left. 57-52. Rosenbaum down bound. He'll get it into Kenton. And Taylor will foul out. That's his fifth. And that'll put Kenton at the line. I believe this is only the seventh player that yeah, Rock they has brought in. That is. 42 will come into the game. I don't have a 42 on my roster. Uh, it must be Ethan Means, JV players, who I've got listed. 
Kenton's free throws up and it's good. So he hits the first one. 58-52, six point lead here. Can make it a seven point lead here if he can hit this second. It's up and it rims out. So just a two possession game here. Wallace up quickly. As he loses it, Mason Cox with the steal. Mason will go coast to coast and score it. And give it number one. 60 to 52, that's a big one. Treat will drive and he gets fouled on the floor. <laughs> Ian reached in and grabbed him. He wasn't gonna step in and take that charge. No. Uh, Treat's a load, man. Yeah, He's 6'7 and about 220, I'd say. Two, oh, maybe yeah. 240, yeah. maybe 250. <laughs> He's a big kid. Grace yeah. check in, Titan Williams back in. Hofler and Cox, the two seniors coming out here on senior night. As the Senators lead 60 to 52, they'll inbound to treat. Kenton He'll Chase spin. just smiles because he picks up Dipper <laughs> on and the defensive one as side. As they score there, is Wallace able to put it up and in. Foul on the Senators here. Basket was good. Jackson Cameron, his first foul. And a chance for the three-point play here by Wallace. Nice job guarding Wallace all night and still yep. only picking up his first foul. Free throws up and it's good. 55-60 and that's the ball game. So the Senators win it here tonight. 60 to 55, a five point win by West Washington here on senior night. So a big win here to go to 11 and 10 on the year. Final regular season game against Shoals on Friday night. As the Senators get the win, we'll take a break, add things up here and come back with our post game report here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in 